to the Department for Work and Pensions. This is a free call. Please hold and I will put you through to an advisor as soon as possible. Hello, Colchester United. Lauren speaking. Well, hello, Lauren. <clears throat> uh, my name is Griff Richards. Um, I was just given this number by my local job centre plus about any possible vacancies. Oh, okay. Um, all of our vacancies are actually on our website. Um, so if you have a look on the Coal United website, pop onto the vacancies tab and that will tell you all of our uh, vacancies we currently have. No, yeah, but they told me to ring directly because I'm interested in the manager's job. I believe you've got rid of your manager today, is that correct? Right. So um, how do I go about applying for that? I wouldn't really be sure, I'm afraid. Is there anybody else I can speak to? Because obviously I don't want to go to the website, you know, you'd be looking to take somebody on ASAP. So I want to get in before the transfer window opens, obviously. Okay, bear with me two seconds. Thanks. Hi, yeah, I've just spoken to someone. They said, um, the chairman's already said he's probably going to be appointing within, so at the moment we're not really looking for anyone to apply for that job. Yeah. No, but legally you have an obligation to offer this job to the public. Your chairman must be aware of that. You can't make an internal... Uh, appointment without offering a, a job centre plus have told me this this morning. Okay. Who who are you appointing? I'm not sure. I don't. Are you actually looking to apply for your job, or are you looking for inside information? No, I want that job. That I I've, I've been following, you know, the fortunes of your club. I knew obviously you were going to get rid of the last guy because of the results. I know I can do a job for you. I've just left TNS, especially to you know to apply for this job. Now you're telling okay. me it's going to be offered internally. That no, goes against uh, all I'm of the. I'm not saying it's going to only be offered internally. No, you just said chat. Sorry, go Okay, on. that's something in the article that the chairman has mentioned. He hasn't said that he's not opening it up to people outside of the club, but that's what I'm just saying. That's something someone's just told me. Right, I if demand to speak to the chairman ASAP. I demand to speak to your commanding officer. I'm afraid that the chairman isn't here at the moment and won't be able to take your call. Well, you've just passed a message on that he's given, told me it's from the chairman. There's a le you have a legal obligation, a job centre plus have told me this, to offer the job to the public. You can't just apply... No, know, I never said that. You're putting words into my mouth. I never said that it wasn't going to be opened up to the public. I've been a manager, right, for 13 clubs over the course of the last eight years with lots and lots of success. Okay, that's absolutely fine. I completely understand that. But at the moment, the chairman isn't available to speak. Right, well, I need to know what your policy is regarding offering this job to the public. Because as I say, I've been in touch with Job Centre Plus. I've actually cancelled my ESA last week uh, with a view to looking into this job. And now you're telling me it's not even been offered to the public. I Obviously, haven't said that. Obviously, they're going to stop my housing you're benefit now. That. Please stop being rude to me. I have not said I'm to not, you. I'm not, be, I'm not being rude not, at all. Okay, That's but you're putting words into my mouth. I have never said it's not going to be open to the public. I'm not But at the moment, yep. I don't know any further information. It's happened today. It's very recent. It's hard for me to know information instantly about the job role, I'm afraid. No, I, I understand that. But I'm, you know, I'm looking at your website now. It still says manager Tony Humes. Now, out of respect to him, surely, if you're going uh, to get rid of a manager, surely... You could take his take his name off off your website because he's still listed as manager. Now that's in contra uh, contravention to section six, six of the Employment Act. Not only am I a manager, I'm legally trained. Okay, that's absolutely fine. I'm just saying at this moment in time, I don't have any information. I'm going to try and speak to HR at the moment and see if there is yeah. any more information. So bear with me for two seconds, please. Thank you. Achoo. They're just really nearly making up as they go along, yeah. Hello, I've just spoken with someone else. Um, I can't actually get through to HR at the moment. Um, but it's suggested that if you do want to apply, then you put it in writing to Robbie and send it here to the stadium. Robbie who? It's not Robbie needs Vicky, is it? Robbie Cowling. Robbie Cowling. What, in writing? Yes. Right, when are they going to take Tony Hume's name off the website then? Because I don't want to apply for a job when, according to your website, your manager is Tony Hume's. Yeah, now, according to our website. You know, obviously, yeah, you've conceded sort of 14, 18, 25 goals in the last seven games. That's not great, I know. Now, I can shore up that defence. I really can shore up that defence. Yeah. 
Okay, that's absolutely fine. At the moment, yes, the job obviously has gone from Tony Hume's position and it is still on our website, yes, that's because it happened this morning. And our media department have been in press, office, press meetings this morning, so I'm afraid they haven't actually had time to take it off the website and I'm very sorry about that. But if right. you would like to apply, then you do need to send a letter to the stadium and yeah. put Robbie Cowling's name on the front. Right, so... Basically, what it is, uh, just one last point, I don't want to keep you any longer, it's obviously a busy day there. Um, as part of my sort of agreement with Job Centre Plus, I've got to apply for at least four jobs a week. Now, how quickly is this going to be sort of um, taken seriously, you know? Can you send me an application form? I need some sort of record that I've applied for this job. I can't just go in next week and sign on and say, oh yeah, I applied for the Colchester United Manager's job. Because they're going to say, well, where's the proof? Is there a form you can send, an application form, or email me? Hello. Uh, yes, hello. Right. Can, you, can, can you send a letter in to Robbie Cowling, Western Homes Community Stadium, United Way, yeah, I've got all the information. Colchester, CO45UP. Okay. Well, I'm not going to apply for a job, but I'll do my research. But as I was saying to the lady I just spoke to, I need a record that I've applied for this job to show to Job Centre Plus. Right. Okay. Yeah, if you can write in, then once an application form becomes available, you'll be sent it. Okay. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Bye. All the best. Yeah, good luck with that defence.